Hey everyone, this is Ross doing a review for a K12 uh, portable jump starter uh, slash power bank. Um, this is what the device looks like right here. Um, it comes with uh, the jump starting cables, um, the power charging uh, mini USB, USB charging cable, uh, user's manual, and a nice little bag to keep the thing in. Um, you know, when you store it in your glove compartment in your car, that's where I'm going to be keeping this thing. Um, but anyway, um, it has a 8,000 mAh uh, battery in it. Um, it comes fully charged. Uh, but anyway, um, this is what the device looks like here. Um, this right here on the side, as you can see, that's where you, um, right there, that's where you charge the power bank um, either you could use your computer to charge it or um, with uh, with an adapter you know obviously the USB adapter with that thing that doesn't it doesn't come with one but um, I mean all of us nowadays have uh, a million of those things laying around I know I do um, so anyway uh, you can use um, sorry it's upside down uh, that's the USB output so you can plug your um, cell phone in or tablet and charge it um, and this is where you would charge uh, that's where you plug the blue as, as you can see right there um, with the ch on the charger or jump starting cables I mean that's where you plug it into the power bank and um, also um, it has if you turn on the the power right there you can see that it has four uh, bars or I mean well, I guess LED lights on uh, four means it's fully charged. Um, and then there's a little LED flashlight at the top, which is pretty bright. Um, yeah, uh, if you hold it down, you could shut it off. If you hold it down, you turn it back on, press it again, and it goes into strobe mode. Um, press it again, and it just flashes. Uh, I guess that's SOS mode. Um, and then you press it again to shut it off. Um, but anyway, uh, I tried this on my car. I uh, disconnected the battery and plugged this thing in. What you do is, you, what you first step would you be um, to connect the, uh, the red to the positive and then connect the, the black to the negative on your car. Um, and then you plug this into the spot I just showed you here marked with the car on it, which is upside down again. Um, you plug that in there. Um, then all you do is you go in and uh, start up your car. Um, that's all I did. It, it worked on the first uh, first try. Um, and then surprisingly, I just I complete I just did that um, earlier today and I still have four bars of power, which I wanted to show you that. Um, and I tried the other day charging my cell phone with this thing, and it uh, it actually drained this down to two bars, um, which obviously the the quick uh, jump start uh, takes less power than um, you know the slow charge of charging your phone. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, and also, it, it, there's a note in here that says. Um, don't try to charge your, your battery unless you have at least two bars of power in, in the bank here. Because um, if you don't, it's not going to work. Um, trying to think what else there is to, to point out here. Um, oh, it has, uh, there's 300 amps of power um, when boosting your, your battery. So um, it's just uh, a little more information here. And... Uh, so then, yeah, I'm just going to throw it in this bag right here and throw it in my glove compartment, and hopefully I never need it, but um, I live in Cleveland, so, uh, you know, we get some cold winters around here, so, I mean, it's a good possibility I may uh, need it. Um, but anyway, uh, that's my honest and unbiased review, as always. Um, it's uh, I, I recommend this to everybody uh, with a car, motorcycle, truck, you know, whatever. Um, it's a good thing to have in case of emergencies. Thanks for watching.